With Henry Cavill as Man of Steel, the DCEU had its start 11 years ago, and the reboot as the DCU is also set to kick off again in 2025 with Superman. But the new Man of Steel is called David Cornswet, and things are set to be a lot different from before. In this video, you'll get a preview of what to expect from the reboot of the legendary character. In order to avoid any confusion, for a long time, the title of the planned movie was Superman Legacy. However, as director and writer James Gunn clarified in an Instagram post, this was only the working title of the script. The final movie will simply be called Superman, another sign that they want to leave the past behind and make a proper new start. Filming began on February 29, 2024 in Norway. This date is perhaps familiar to some Superman nerds. It is fittingly Clark Kent's birthday. A published image shows scenes in the snow-covered Fortress of Solitude, Superman's retreat. It is not yet known how long filming will take. However, the movie is due to be released in theaters on July 11, 2025. The official kickoff for the DCU and its first phase called Chapter 1, Gods and Monsters. The Superman soundtrack was created by John Murphy, who previously worked on Gunn's movies The Suicide Squad and Guardians of the Galaxy 3. His special effects team is also involved again here. The movie will focus on Clark Kent's younger years, but is explicitly not intended to be an origin story. According to James Gunn, it is more about his beginnings as a journalist at the Daily Planet and his perspective on other superheroes. He is also said to have already made a name for himself as a superhero, so the world already knows about the Man of Steel. Another aspect will be Clark's place in the world, with his Kryptonian background on the one hand and his adoptive family in Smallville on the other. James Gunn is said to have drawn inspiration from the All-Star Superman comics, which were published in the mid-2000s. Leaked photos from the set also hint at a conflict with the authorities. The main character is taken away in handcuffs, similar to Henry Cavill's character in Man of Steel. In contrast to the last few films, however, Superman is said to be less gloomy this time, which sounds like a fun adventure in the style of competitor Marvel. According to James Gunn, he is also orienting himself more towards the brighter mood of the old Superman movies with Christopher Reeve. However, the project is clearly not intended to be a comedy. Whether this is the right path for DC will ultimately be up to fans to decide. After the increasing criticism of the MCU, Superman could possibly fill just the right gap to get movie audiences excited about the DC Universe again next year. For Gunn, of course, it's all a matter of management. He has been the head of DC Studios together with Peter Safran since October 2022 and is therefore in charge of all upcoming films and series, even if he won't be directing or writing the scripts for everything, of course. The recasting of Superman, aka Clark Kent, was a subject of heated discussions for a long time. Many fans could hardly imagine anyone other than Henry Cavill in the role. The final choice fell on newcomer David Cornsweet, who at least visually fits the role very well, even though he certainly appears less tough than his direct predecessor. Regarding the villain, James Gunn has opted for Superman's classic antagonist, the cunning businessman and supercriminal Lex Luthor. He is played by Nicholas Holt, who had actually previously auditioned for the role of Superman. Of course, Lois Lane, the intrepid journalist and Clark's great love, can't be missing. This role is now played by Rachel Brosnahan, who is best known for her award-winning performance in The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel. In addition to the familiar characters, a number of other characters with superpowers appear in the new Superman film. Michael Holt, better known as Mr. Terrific, is part of the movie as well, a brilliant scientist and athlete who, after a personal tragedy, decides to dedicate his life to the fight against crime. Eddie Gathigi, who was featured in X-Men First Class and For All Mankind, for example, will play this character. An exciting new addition to the DCU is Hawk Girl. This heroine with superhuman powers and the ability to fly will be played by Isabella Merced. Her story varies in the comics, but she's often portrayed as the reincarnation of an Egyptian princess who sets off on adventures with her partner Hawkman. It's also been known for a while that Clark's cousin, better known as Supergirl, will be making a brief appearance. She too comes from the planet Krypton and has similar abilities to Superman. She will be played by the young Australian Millie Alcock, who had her breakthrough with the HBO series House of the Dragon. However, she is only supposed to have a small role in the movie. Her big appearance will come in her solo film, Supergirl, Woman of Tomorrow. Another exciting character we will see in the movie is Guy Gardner. This Green Lantern is known for his hot-tempered and provocative nature. His conflicts with other heroes such as Hal Jordan and Jon Stewart are legendary. In Superman, he will be played by Nathan Fillion, known from series such as Firefly or Castle. And there's good news for the animal lovers among you. Crypto, the superdog, could also be making an appearance. After director James Gunn joked about it, it seems more and more likely that Superman's pet companion will be seen in the movie. 
Crypto was last featured in the animated film DC League of Super Pets. Metamorpho, aka Rex Mason, will be making his first appearance on the big screen. He is known for his ability to transform his body into different elements. He will be played by Anthony Kerrigan, who is known for his roles in Gotham and Barry. Following leaks from the film set, there is also talk of a black masked figure. Fans are speculating either on Ultraman, Clark Kent's evil doppelganger, or on Ulysses, alias Neil Quinn, who takes action against Superman together with the military. However, there is no official confirmation of either yet. In minor roles, we also get to see Skylar Gassando and Wendell Pierce as Clark's colleagues Jimmy Olsen and Perry White. Pruitt Taylor Vince and Neva Howell, in turn, will play his parents Jonathan and Martha Kent. And as if the movie didn't have enough characters already, the director's brother, Sean Gunn, joins the cast as the villain Maxwell Lord, as does action legend Frank Grillo as Rick Flagg Sr. With so many different superheroes, we wonder whether James Gunn might have planned too many things for the reboot of Superman. After all, critics have already accused the DCEU of emulating the Avengers too quickly without giving the individual characters enough time for development. However, if anyone can pull it off, it's James Gunn. With Guardians of the Galaxy and the Suicide Squad, he has already proven that he can bring together lots of new characters in one movie and still make it work. Besides, we shouldn't forget, just because all the different characters are confirmed for the movie, it doesn't mean they are going to play big roles. Whether James Gunn ultimately manages to achieve a major masterpiece with Superman and lead DC back to success, and whether David Cornsweet can convince us as the new Man of Steel, will be revealed in theaters starting July 11, 2025. In addition to Superman, several projects for the new DCU are already in the works. These include, for example, the film The Brave and the Bold, which will focus on Batman and Robin, independently of Matt Reeves' The Batman series. Like Joker, this film is one of the so-called Elseworlds, which exists separate from the other DCU stories. The casting of the new Batman for The Brave and the Bold is sure to be the subject of the next big discussions after Superman. Reacher star Alan Richson is currently putting himself forward for the role, but many doubt whether he would make a convincing Bruce Wayne. Apart from Supergirl Woman of Tomorrow, the ensemble film The Authority, about a group of unusual superheroes, has also been announced, as well as a new Swamp Thing movie. Various series are in the pipeline as well, including the animated series Creature Commandos and Lanterns, a mystery series about the Green Lanterns, Hal Jordan, and Jon Stewart. What do you think? Is the reboot in the best and most capable hands with James Gunn? Is a reboot of the DC movies even necessary? Or were you actually happy with what has been released on the big screen in recent years? Let us know your thoughts in the comments, and like this video if you enjoyed our quick summary.